Okay, this is going to be a short video on how to speed up your RCBS Charge Master and the various ways to make it more accurate and throw better charges. So, uh, one of the things you're going to notice is this straw right here. It's a McDonald's straw that is uh, about half an inch long with uh, little spikes cut on it to even out the kernels. And uh, that really helps overthrows because the kernels don't bunch up right at the end and then all fall into the pan at once and overthrow. And uh, you can also reprogram these as many people do. And uh, we're going to walk through how to program this to throw faster. So first we're just going to do 25 grain charge. This is Varget. And let's... Uh, Let's just time this. This is with the stock settings. It's about 35 seconds, we'll just say. Okay, let's set that back to zero. Empty out the pan. Put it back on. 25 grains again. That one was much shit. That one was much quicker. <sighs> okay. So we have a 35 second charge and a 20 second charge. So let's just do this one more time. Just because that one was really fast. So there we go. Start it again. 25. Thirty seconds. Okay. So that was three charges. So we'll do thirty-five plus thirty plus twenty-five. Nope. Wait. Thirty-five plus thirty plus twenty. And we'll divide that by three. So an average of twenty-eight seconds per. And that's with the stock settings. And that did overthrow. Dump that back. So now I'm going to show you how to program. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get hit your edit memory button and your enter button simultaneously. And it's going to say adjust parameters. And then the first one that just came up, that is when the charge master, that's how many grains under your target weight when this thing is going to switch down to a slower speed. And this is all for your lower charges. This isn't going to be for your charges. I think much. Of, I think around 40 is when it switches to different set of parameters that I haven't messed with because I only reload two, two, three so far. So that's the stock settings. These are my three settings that I use. So let's go ahead and change this. So we're going to do 10.0. There's 10. Just hit enter. It's going to take you right to the next one. There is no back button. That is the stock setting for when it drops down another speed. And there's what I've found I like. So we're going to change that. 2, 5, oh, 2.5. That's what I like. Enter that. And then here's the very last one when it goes down to a trickle. I like 0.9. 1.08 is the stock. So let's do, should just be 0. 0.9. There we go. 0.9. Okay, enter. Now this starts taking you to the heavier loads of when it's going to drop down a speed, going to drop down another speed, going to drop down another speed to your final trickle, and then this takes you to even higher loads. And just keep hitting enter through all of these, and there, there's no back button and there's no way to just get out of the menu, so keep hitting enter until it resets. You'll get to the last setting, and then there you go. It's counting down. And now we have our new settings saved. And so we'll give this a three throw average and see what we get. This would look really bad if it throws slower. So we'll do a 25 grain charge. Get out the timer. And go. And I stop the timer when it beeps, not when it actually hits 25. 
As you can see, it went much higher before it slowed down. Now, hopefully this is actually faster, otherwise I ain't going to look so smart. We'll just call that 23 seconds. And did it overthrow? Nah, it's borderline. But this thing has one tenth accuracy. Alright, so let's do this again. 25 grains. And we'll hit dispense. And we're going to wait for the beep. As soon as we hear the beep, we stop the time. Of course, it's just going to take forever. 28 seconds. Alright, hopefully this next one's a little quicker because this does not look good. However, it is faster. I'm just figure that out. Not really going for weight accuracy. I'm just going for time. You could definitely tweak these settings more and get a faster throw, but then you run the risk of overthrows. So it's all up to you. There we go. 18. Let's call that 18. Okay. So let's pour our powder back. And let's average these out. 23 plus 28 plus 18. Divide that by 3. So it's an average of 23 seconds instead of 28. And you can get better than that, definitely. Now the next thing I want to show you is the auto throw. I'll just dispense. Uh, let's do 15. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to set it up to do auto dispensing. This is a really nice feature for when you're out there by yourself and you just want to load up some good ammo. Well, you have to watch your corn in private. Okay. So we have it set at 15 grains. Now, after it's done that, hold your enter button for a few seconds and it'll say auto. Now, take your powder, dump it out like you just charged your case, put your pan back on, and when it zero, it's not going to zero because I haven't calibrated this thing and it's on an uneven surface, but as soon as it zeroes, it should start to charge the case again. There you go. Didn't touch it. It's really nice, makes things go quicker, and uh, where I got all my information for programming this thing, I'll uh, put down in the description the link to it so you guys can look at this because there's more settings than just this this is just the only stuff I've tweaked with and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this powder and show you the one last modification I did to this thing and so we'll be right back okay so lastly I just wanted to show you the modification I did inside there and uh, we'll go ahead and stop it. That's just another McDonald's straw cut with that little point stuck on the inside of the uh, feed tube. Dinner, Johnny. And the very, very last thing I did actually is this on the power cord. It's just your standard. That's what comes with your charge master. Just goes over into your wall. And uh, that's just a little plug right there. This plugs into your charge master, like so. And uh, it's just a huge capacitor right in the middle and a few little ones to smooth out the power. Uh, I, I can't tell if it makes a real difference with how this thing throws charges and uh, really anything else. But with an oscilloscope, you can definitely see the difference. And so uh, I know cleaner power is never going to hurt anything. And uh, I like to build stuff, so I got the best of both worlds, I guess. Alright, so thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, comment, 
rate, subscribe, anything, and uh, just a quick view of the room. It's a work in progress. Need to get the LED lights up under here so I don't have to use this stupid light to light up my videos. And that's it. Thanks, guys.